Continuing their quest for their voices to be heard, the Guapo farmers walked onto another work site of highway contractor OAS. From point 410 to on the trick, we shut down the whole of the OAS work we're going on right now. That is very, un it, 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 it not working up. It's not working up at all. So what about the family we had to feed? If you go by the road, I saw a vendor, also a farmer. I just because buy my produce, that, right? Right that. now I had to be buying my produce before I say one cut my produce and retail my produce. It be in. The farmers say the maximum compensation of $20,000 is simply not enough. I look at their consulting firm as pit bulls. They treating the guapo farmers as a piece of meat that you throw for a door. You telling me that a man who have 15 and 10 acres and a gentleman who have two acres, you want to give him, you want to give them the same compensation? This protester says they only want to hear now from NITCO president Dr. Carson Charles or oh, Minister leader. of Works and Infrastructure Dr. Suraj Rambachan. I mean. It didn't take long, however, for the police to arrive to ensure peace was maintained. But the farmers were not phased. And that's probably because they were joined today by their councillor, Gerard Debisset. He says this entire situation could have been avoided. The treaty people in the southern area deep south with total disrespect. For the end of the day, what they're supposed to do first, they do last. And this, they didn't this, do this in the other areas and, and with no disrespect in the East Indian areas. And this is not dealing with, with, with race. Because at the end of the day, in the East Indian areas, they went with surveyors and they did what they supposed to do and compensate people properly. Debbie Seth says he stands with the farmers in their protest for better compensation and relocation. Chester Sambrano, CNC3.